James Paxton gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Boy, the Hello, baseball. Like this lefty James Paxton, big arm from the left side. He reminds me a lot of Andy Pettit. The only thing he throws about four or five miles harder than Pettit. Paxton occasionally 97 to 98 miles an hour. Good hard overhand curveball. His changeup is getting better the more he uses it. This is one of the game's premier left-handed strikeout pitchers. And now he'll try to bunt his way. Hey, Do we try to game. bunt already? First pitch, one o'clock. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count, 0-2. This has popped up. Boyd has room in foul territory. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The next 0 2. He is taken high above the zone. Lots of sunshine in the forecast. 83 degrees here at first pitch. Fastball, strike three called. And he's going to go. To begin the afternoon. Now a moment as we take a look at the Jays' starting nine for this one. What's going to be the key for him today, Mark? Well, Matty, you walk into this yard today, and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that can work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. Ready now, Biggio, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch on its way. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. Paxton, he's the kind of pitcher that a lot of pitching coaches and managers really appreciate and that he rarely issues the free pass. He's a strike thrower. Yeah, Matty V, and I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on his staff. He won't beat himself. He'll make a he play, and he's not afraid to get his defense allowed. He's a pitch-to-contact guy, and that's one that of the keys hurt. why he's been able the to be base. such a good pitcher at this what level. The main job of the number good one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position oh to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Vladimir Guerrero is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Yeah. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. Uh, you touched on it, d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players. He makes them earn their keep. Frazier will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Blue Jays go down in order. Blue Jays nothing. Yankees coming to bat on MLB Network. Bring on the Yankees. Matt Shoemaker, a right-hander from Michigan, is the starter on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Oh, my. This is line to left. Uriel is there, and he makes the catch for the out. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Mark, daytime baseball at home. What do we need to know about these guys? Well, Matt, when we drove over to the ballpark today, we were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard, but that could sometimes work against them. I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures to get this W. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, he chased a bad pitch that time. It's strike one. Last battles with Matt Shoemaker. He's collected 11 hits in 42 ABs. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Count now a ball and a strike. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. The one two and another foul ball bases are empty one man out well hit the other way there we go into the gap around 
first. Here's Gardner on his way to second. And he'll pull into second with one away. That's what happens when a slider doesn't that do what hurt. you want it to do. That was just one of those cement DK. mixers, kind of just spinning but doing Thank nothing. You. Nice job of punishing that pitch and picking up two bags on one swing. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. High and deep to left center field. Hernandez going back to the track. Oh, he missed it? But it's over his head, and it hunts the wall for the ground rule double. And this thing that bounces cool. over the wall, but oh, I don't think you. it would have mattered if Aaron. it stayed in the ballpark. Either way, the runner was going to score, and he was going to wind up at second. He drove that ball really nicely. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. And the Yanks trying to make this first inning even sweeter here. Here's the first pitch to him. A bouncer to the left side. In time to first, and there are two away. Here's Miguel Andohar now. Pass battles with Matt Shoemaker. He's hitting 429. Come on, give me that one. First pitch of the at bat. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. Andohar takes the swings from the right handed batter's box, but he's one of those rare hitters that actually thrives facing same handed pitching. One of the very best in the game, as a matter of fact, in that type of matchup. Yeah, Matt. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. Second inning coming up. New York off to a 1 0 lead. Number 44. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. 0-1 oh, looked like a knuckle curve, and it's 1-1 one one now. Oh, Hit high and deep out there to oh the field. Frazier going back on it at the track. But he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Now that's the way you answer. They're down one nothing already, but he laces the double and puts himself in the scoring position. That'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch back. Stepping in now, number 13. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. And he turns this one around high and deep oh, to the field. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Two run shot to straight away center as Toronto has taken a two to one lead. I can tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. Here's Randall Richard. Oh, man. And absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back to back home runs. Randall Grichik leaves the yard with a solo shot, and it gives the Blue Jays a three to one lead. Well, you just don't see that too often. Back to back dingers on back to back pitches. I mean, that's kind of a definition of instant. Come on, past if you ask me. So that'll bring that, in that, Teoscar Hernandez. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Good cut fastball that time, and he's in control now. 0 and 2. Sweet. 
And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And no one will track it down. The 0-2 once more. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gardner is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Man. All right, here's how the Bronx Bad Bombers are going to set up defensively today. Number nine. And the guy I want to focus on is second baseman DJ LeMayhew. I think what we need to take into consideration is his ability to play that position at six foot four, six foot five, with soft hands and the ability to turn a double play. We already know he's an offensive force. Behind 0 and 2 now. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. After it is Gardner. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Batting done. All right. Again, Brendan Drury Brandon. will work on keeping this top of the second alive. Get him out. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Three runs already home here. Changeup stays outside and is behind 2-0. and oh. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Drilled to the right side. Mayhew's got it. Throw on to Boyd, yeah. takes care of him, and the inning is over. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Toronto leads this one three to one. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. Leading He'll start us out here in the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the Gary. early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The first pitch is hit pretty well. There you go, Gary. Richard looks up. A solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. And the Yankees have cut it to a 3 to 2 score now. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but the solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. And that'll bring up Flavor Torres. As he swings and grounds it toward him. And that's through for a hit. Obvious pitch recognition right there. OO changeups usually get guys out in front, but he was able to stay back, recognize it, and drive it for a base hit. In now, Luke Boyd. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into the Luke. territory. A runner at first with no outs here. Oh, no. Late swing and a miss, strike two. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone, so if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. Well, dude, get up there. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. So stepping in, Clint Frazier as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First delivery to him on the way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself in bad counts. A 1-0 and delivery. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Torres at second. Boyd on at first with nobody out. One-one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. 
Hey, that's a huge pitch for him right there. He's been struggling early. If he's able to get any feel on his secondary stuff, he might be able to hang around a little bit. Tried to hold up there. A feel down to first and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Oh, and this is hit high and deep. Oh, yeah. See you later. Over the wall. Home run. Got to leave back. So a three-run blast is straight away left, and it's now five to three. Well, we've now seen four homers combined between these two clubs today. What are your thoughts, guys? Yeah, hey, Matty B, this big ball from the Bronx has that short porch in right field, d -roll. But you can hit the ball high. Just yeah, about any part of this ball. Though. Yeah, this right. place plays sneaky small. I know it's got big Earth gaps, ball. but right field is so juicy. As a right-handed hitter, you don't feel like you have to cheat. Not surprised by what we saw today. Wow. His Roll it. have a lot of faith Roll in him, and I'm not sure why. Right. He's given up five Your hits turn. in this inning alone, and it doesn't look like it's going to come to an end anytime soon. Digging in to try it again, Brett Gardner. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribby. Hit sharply on the ground. And that is just past his outstretched glove, and that ought to be a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Yeah, Matt, I'm not sure how much longer they can leave him out there. Not only is he hurting the team, it's probably doing some damage to his psyche as well. Stepping in and ready for another shot, D.J. LeMayhew. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And he misses with it one and one. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one. But the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. Four runs here in this half inning. Lofted it in the air out toward right center. On the run is Hernandez. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Toronto Blue Jays today. And let's focus our attention on outfielder Randall Gritchick. It's the ability right, to put together every day on a Hit consistent deep. basis that's going to separate this guy from superstar to average big leaguer. Look for him to make an impact on one side of the ball today. Aaron Judge comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. 1-0 oh. pitch on the way. Oh, come on. Swing and a miss, and I don't think he was expecting a pitch inside. It's 1-1. One And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. To two balls and two strikes now. As a veteran pitcher, he knows if he's going to have success in this one, he's got to establish that pitch in, get those guys to respect it, and open up that outer half. Oh, Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now that stepping into the box, Miguel Andujar hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. Shoemaker comes set. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Strikes to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Hey, down 0-2, he better be leery of this guy's nasty changeup. He has the ability to bury it down and away or down and in wherever he wants to. So you got to be on point with this one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And he 
so damn it. Here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Nine men come to the plate for score. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Yankees lead it five to three. Striding in, Bo Bichette. He'll start things out against James Paxton as we get the inning underway. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Gardner is there. One down. Now batting. Stepping in for the Jays. Biggio, 0 for 1 here in the early going. And that's in there for strike one. One out, nobody on. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. These are the at-bats that can just flat out frustrate you. You go up there with a plan to work the count, and now you find yourself down 0-2 scratching your head because every quadrant's open for the pitcher now. Judge is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Two down. Settling in now, Vladimir Guerrero. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Still a little bit early to be worrying about this, but in a two run game, a two out walk right here could at least get the two oh, on the plate. And on top of that, there's some pop on that on deck circle. And he'll get in there safely. The batter, number 44. Rowdy Tellez, the next to bat. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Well, that was a big two out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons. The inning went from totally under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base, and this is how two out rallies start. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. One left for Toronto. They're still down 5 3. Late Gary Sanchez he got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Oh no, that was too low. Here and that's the first strike. There's no way around it. This has been a rough start on the mound, so it'll be interesting to see how long that man is going to let him go. Maybe he settles in and can give you another inning or so, but I wouldn't bet on it at this point. Now the one and one pitch it is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. All right, let's take a step back right here. He's down one, two, three fastballs in a row. There is no way he's throwing him a fourth. Count even at two and two. Here now the two, two. Slow roller down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Taken high and deep to right. Richard racing back. Still ranging. And another one. And it's gone as they add still another. Solo number two. A solo shot here to straight away right field. His second home run of the game. And it's now six to three. the 0 2 pitch and on 0 and 2 he misses with a fastball good pitch and I think he locked him up but he wasn't rewarded for it this time neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue 
Again, a 1 2. Misses, ball two. No outs, nobody on. And oh, got it. Chased it in the dirt. Jansen has it. He'll throw down to first, one away. Good job of getting him to chase the ball in the dirt right there. Hey, also, credit the catch for keeping it close and finishing it off with a good throw to first. That's harder than it looks, but big league catchers make it look easy sometimes. Here comes the first pitch. Just short, hit hard. All right, so. And there's out number two. Digging in now for the Yankees, Clint Frazier. He hit a big three-run bomb in his first plate appearance. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. One and one, the count to Clint Frazier. Bases are empty here with two men out. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. And that misses two and two. Pretty good discipline right there with two strikes. That's a tough sweeping slider. Not many guys lay off that pitch. Shoemaker steps into his windup. Here it is on two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Back-to-back -back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good oh, thing. Damn it. We'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. We played three full. New York leads it six to three. to bat for Toronto, number 13. And he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. Yeah, that last at bat, Danny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Hit hard. But this will be a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Line toward right center. Frazier patrolling center makes the play one out. The right Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he Randall. might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Yeah. Rounded sharply, but right at the yeah. side of the infield. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. At the plate to Oscar Hernandez. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, two outs, nobody on, and a power hitter up. This is where, as a pitcher, you got to use the hitter's aggression against him. Get him to fish a little bit. Something a little more out of the way. Uh, yes. Lays himself out and makes oh, a no. spectacular catch. Never mind. The ump says it was a trap. Now batting. Number nine. Man at second here with two away. And that'll bring in Danny Jansen. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Jansen stands 6 2 as you see him in the right handed box. He was a 16th round selection back in the draft of 2013. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Too low. Drafted where he was. There are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. In the right field, that's a base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base, as even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. This game is unbelievable sometimes, Dan. There's a bullet knock right there. You're expecting an RBI. He almost hit it too good. He can't even score. Boy, too good is it, Mark. This is one right here. It just kind of gets out to the outfield so quick that the runner not have able to score from second base. And their runners at the corners now. And even one and one count to Brandon Drury. 
Fastball called strike one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Judge is there. Finally. This one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Blue Jays leave a pair. Can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Looking at the numbers, they currently have four hits coming from at-bats where they were Where'd behind in the count. The that indicates that the these guys are absolutely man. battling Yo. at the plate and making First it very difficult for the opposition to get them out. Thank you, Heidi. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ooh, that's ball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Just getting blown away so far. No reason to throw anything else to speed up his bat. Just stay right there. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. The next 0 2. Misses, that's ball right, 1. One two. Drilled on the ground. All oh, right, Tom. And a good throw gets him one gun. Here's oh, Brett Gardner now. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line in the disappearance. First pitch coming. Here it is. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Slap hard the opposite way. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. And he'll reach first safely. No mistake what he was sitting on. Looking Cal for Bryant. a dead red piece Looks of like cheese, middle of the plate, and he didn't yeah. miss it. So a runner at first with one man gone. And that'll bring in DJ LeMay. Oh, DJ. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A bouncer. But of course. There's one. Out. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Yanks held in check. They still lead it six to three. 